This 1972 Lincoln sign recently sold for a, a significant amount on July 30th, 2024. The secret to its high value lies in a verse lettering of this penny. This is a mint error coin known as a double die verse. The 1972 Lincoln sign with double die verse is one of the most notable and sought after error coins among collectors. The doubling on the verse is clearly visible to the naked eye, making it a popular error. The most significant doubling can be seen on inscriptions Liberty, in God We Trust, and the date 1972. There are multiple varieties of 1972 DDO, but the most prominent and valuable is FS101, formerly known as FS029, which exhibits strong and easily noticeable doubling. Look for clear doubling on all letters. The in and gut often show the most obvious doubling. Doubling is also apparent on all four digits, with the two often being the most prominent in circulated grades. Values can range from $300 to over $1,000, with high-grade specimens fetching even higher prices. This attractive specimen was sold for $1,320 at 30 auctions. Here is 1938 proof Jefferson nickel with re-engraved obverse design, graded as PR67 by PCGS. The 1938 proof Jefferson nickel in PR67 grade is a rare and sought after coin among collectors. In PR67 conditions, this proof coin displays remarkable preservation with strong luster and minimal imperfections. The FS403 designation indicates identifies a specific re engraving variety, adding to its numismatic significance. Collectors prize this coin for its historical context as the first year of Jefferson Nickel series and the unique characteristics of the re-engraved obverse, making it a valuable addition to any high-grade collection. This elusive Jefferson Nickel was sold for $408 at heritage auctions. Here is a rare penny with attractive natural luster, 1909S VDB Lincoln Sand, graded in Mint State 65 red by PCGS. The low 484,000 piece mintage was well saved by dealer, speculators, and the public, making the 1909 SVDB the single most available branch mint Lincoln sent until those dated in late 1920s, all of which matters little to the legions of the collectors who maintain high demand for this first year San Francisco issue. Lustrous bronze red surfaces display yellowish-orange highlights for excellent eye appeal. The sharp original surfaces show only a few minor flecks, well hidden in attractive and colorful patina. It was sold for $6,600 on July 29, 2024. This is 1953 proof Franklin half dollar, graded as PR67 plus cameo by PCGS and proven by CAC. It is a highly desirable coin, the PR67 plus grade indicates exceptional quality with minimal imperfections and impressive eye appeal. The cameo designation highlights the coin's distinct contrast between the frosted design elements and the mirrored fields. The CC sticker further assures its quality and adds to its market value. This coin from the early years of the Franklin Half Dollar series is particularly sought after by collectors for its pristine condition, attractive cameo appearance, and verified quality, making it a valuable piece in any high-grade collection. This specimen was sold for $810 on July 30th, 2024, at heritage auctions. For 1935's quarter-dollar coinage, the US Mint utilized the medium motto hub exclusively but it was not to appear afterwards. The 1935p issue is quite common across all grades and undoubtedly benefited from the practice of saving uncirculated rolls which became commonplace around this time, according to NGC. Gems are readily available through MS67, a minor double dive versus only variety of note for this entry. This quarter dollar was graded as MS67 by PCGS. It recently fetched $288 on July 30, 2024, at heritage auctions. The 1916D Mercury Dime is one of the most coveted coins in, in American numismatics. This specimen was graded as Good 4 by PCGS. 
As a key date of the Mercury Time series, the 1960s is famous for its low mintage of only 264,000 pieces. In G4 grades, the coin shows significant wear with major details like the date, mint mark and outline of Liberty's portrait still discernible. Despite its lower grades, this coin remains highly sought after due to its rarity and historical significance. Collectors value even well-worn examples, making the 1916 the Mercury Dime prized addition to any collection. This highly coveted specimen, graded as good for by PCGS, was sold for $1,020. Here is 1983 Lincoln Senate with double die reverse, graded in mean state 66 red by PCGS and proven by CAC. The 1983 double die reverse Lincoln Senate is one of the strongest and possibly the strongest double die reverse coin in Lincoln Senate series. The doubling is evident on the letters United, E Pluribus Unum, and 1 cent. The doubling is strong enough to see with naked eye and it's categorized as being one of the major varieties in Lincoln Sand series, graded in mean state 66 red by PCGS. It was sold for $420 on July 30th, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1976 D Bicentennial Washington Quarter with double diverse, graded in mean state 66 by PCGS. The 1976 D Bicentennial Washington Quarter with double diverse is a notable desirable coin among collectors. The Bicentennial Quarter is minted to celebrate the 200th anniversary of American independence, featured a special reverse design with a colonial drummer. The double diverse variety shows doubling on inscriptions particularly visible on Liberty in Godwood Trust and the date 1776-1976. In MS66 conditions, the coin exhibits ex excellent strike, quality, luster and minimal marks or imperfections. These high grade combined with double die error makes it a valuable and sought after piece for collectors of modern US coins and error varieties. This rare quarter dollar was sold for $8,400 at Heritage Auctions. Thank you for joining us on this journey through rare US coins that bring strong premiums at auctions. Remember, knowledge is key to identifying these hidden gems and ensuring they don't get spent by mistake. Keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to like the video. God's willing, see you in the next episode.